Okay, so <clears throat> I'm about to prepare the neck here. Uh, well, I've prepared the neck for staining. Um, this is mahogany, palfrero fretboard, okay? So I'm not staining the fretboard. Um, I've sanded the neck down to 320 grit. So I've gone up, these are my papers here. You know, I, I sanded with uh, 120, then 150 and 220 and this is 320 paper here so i've got the next sanded out pretty smooth all right and i'm i'm about to stain it so here are my stains um i picked out you know four stains here uh i've got a color chart um and the color i'm going for is somewhere around here i think okay so it's a combination of a uh, a red mahogany, oh wait, no, hold on, uh, yeah, somewhere here. So it's a combination of an amber stain and either uh, a medium brown or red mahogany. So one of these, maybe I'll pick the medium brown. Now these colors are on uh, unstained maple, okay? So maple obviously is a lot lighter than mahogany. So whatever color uh, it shows here for the maple, I will go lighter, okay? So if I, if I try something down here on mahogany, it might end up looking like that. You know what I mean? Um, so <clears throat> with medium brown uh, and amber, I have to do a, a little more medium brown. So about, about two thirds medium brown, one third amber. All right. Uh, so I've got a... Uh, I've got a, a, a one ounce container here of denatured alcohol. That's what I use to um, to mix these stains in. Got a bit of blue in there. Okay, yeah, should be all right. Um, so I'll probably start off with like two thirds, one third. So I'll go um, maybe six drops of. Uh, medium brown stain six drops of medium brown and then uh, three drops of amber vintage amber there you go okay now uh actually i should get a bit of test wood Okay, here's a piece of mahogany, it's the same wood, all right? So we will just uh, I'll mix this up first and see how it looks on the test piece. You know, it's not much, just enough to give it a little bit of color, okay? Now, you know, you can let it dry, go over it again, and uh, you know, that uh, you can deepen the color if you want. So that doesn't look too bad. It's kind of what I'm after, right? So now we'll, uh, we'll go on the neck here, so I'll make sure. Okay. Oh yeah, that's good. All right. So we'll start, uh, start on the headstock here. And you know, if it doesn't work out, you can uh, you can sand it off, right? The stain doesn't penetrate that far. It's water-based stain, easy to clean up. You don't get it on your fingers because it's very po powerful. I mean, it'll it'll cause uh, you know deep staining on your skin. Uh, Okay, so I wear gloves, right? There you go. All 
right, we'll come down here. And just, you know, in by the fretboard, just be a little careful. I, you know, do a bit of sanding here. If I get some, you know, some, I mean, quick tape it, I suppose, but. Uh, maybe I should have taped it. Anyway, I'll just give a little sand afterwards, get that off. Well, you could even stain the fretboard, I suppose, on the side there. Mightn't hurt. Anyway, we'll leave it for now. Um, if you've got the fretboard bound, then, you know, if you get stain on the binding, you just scrape it off with a scraper, like I showed you before. So, that's how it goes. It doesn't take long. It dries quickly. And uh, once it dries, I'll spray a little sealer on it, a uh, coat of lacquer, and then do a grain fill. Mahogany is got, has got an open grain. You don't have to fill it, but if you don't, you'll have to spray a lot more lacquer and uh, you know, I might stain the fretboard. Yeah, I think that's all right. A lot easier. I don't have to tape it. There you go. Alperero takes the stain differently, right? So, you know, if you can see that. And I, on the other side, it might even show up the fret dots a little bit better. Let me just see here. I say, if I don't like it, I can sand it off. Yeah, I think so. No. All right. Looks dandy. There we go. Just like that. I'll do another coat here. Yeah, so I'll probably do a couple coats. I'll just let that dry. It takes a few minutes. And then go over it again. I'll get to the front of the head start. Wait. I almost forgot. And the uh, board. There we go. So that will dry in uh, a few minutes, and then we're good to go. All right. Take care.